Now it's time for the top 10 plays of the week in our NBA TV countdown. Starting off at number 10 is the Grizzlies' Dante Jones with this thunderous dunk. And Dante Jones taking it strong to the rim. You talk about bringing home the bacon, folks. It is what it is. At nine, the Bulls couldn't put anything past Charlotte's Gerald Wallace. Gordon driving to the right hand, rejected by Wallace. Fast and deep inside, it's rejected again by Wallace, this time from Nocioni. Wallace has done a little everything today, hasn't he? He sure has. 21 points, terrific game. A couple of block shots. In at number eight, it's the Spurs with this display of championship basketball. Parker, double team, reminding Ori. Oh, Ori, nice to Muhammad. Oh, pretty teamwork from the San Antonio Spurs. Wow. Parker drawing the double team down low. Coming in at number seven is one of the league's most exciting rookies, Chris Paul. This is Chris Paul. Oh, what an acrobatic score and the foul. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> that, that is Chris Paul, folks. At number six is the Warriors combo of Baron Davis and Jason Richardson. And Richardson spiking it on Dallin Bear's head. Baron Davis knew he was coming down the middle. That's that good read from both of them. Checking in at number five is the Wizards' Karan Butler with the reverse jab. Running the floor for Butler, great pass. Oh, oh a nice by Butler. Boy, what a dunk from Karan going underneath, up and over. Spectacular move by Karan Butler. At number four, Jerry Stackhouse rocks the house in Dallas. That it's going to be at least three weeks before he plays himself back into really good NBA game shape. Oh, Right down into O'Neal's grill. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> at three, with under a second left, the Bucks look to Andrew Bogut for the game winner. Free inbound, up, Bogut. Number two is LeBron James with a great steal and an even better finish. LeBron James got a rip away. Flight number 23 to take off and touchdown in downtown Cleveland. Monstrous throwdown. I love when those high flyers go in and then do that reverse slam with their back to the basket like that. And with a number one play, it's Vince Carter sending home the pass from Jason Kidd. The players out on the court don't trust one another that the ball is going to go. Oh, my. Carter with a little icing on the cake in Orlando to give the Nets a 13-point lead again. That's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. Last week, fans on NBA.com agreed with us that this baseline jam by the Magic Steve Francis was the number one play of the week, and it's certainly worth another look. Remember, you can vote for your favorite play all season long by logging on to the league's official website, nba.com.